Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Queen of All Treats. So, I was coming today with a deck review. So, this is the Beautiful Creatures Tarot deck. Okay, I thought that I got the um, They have a deck and then they have the Oracle. I thought I got the Oracle ones too, but I'm gonna go back and check and see if I order those too. But the, um, but the deck came. So, this is what the front look like. It came in this little box. That's what the back of the cards look like. You just got like the two people on the back or whatever. The cards is fine. You know, they're a good size, a decent size to shuffle or whatever. Fit my hand fine. So, let's just go through the major arcana. So, this is the full card. And they got like little things at the bottom. This one says um, exploration. So, this is meaning like to explore, but I like the imagery of the cards, actually. I've been one of these for a while, but I don't know if I should get them. We got the Magician at the bottom of this one. It says Inner inner Skills. If y'all can see. And it's got like, I like the imagery on this one. It got like the lady with the witch hat, and she reading the book. <laughs> Then we got the high priestess. It says inner wisdom. And then the empress is creativity. I like the empress deck. But wait till we get to my favorite my favorite um, major arcana. The emperor says sovereignty. The Hierophant Morals. The Lovers Ultimatum. It's a sad lovers card, actually. I'm trying to say it. Um, the Chariot Motivation. She oh, she too damn big to get on this motherfucking um. Thing. She don't even fit on there. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that I have to get on there. Low riding toy. The strength, <laughs> it says fortitude. Then we have the hermit. Interest of oh, introspection. The Will, which is one of my favorite tarot cards. And this one says changes. Oh, if I sit over here, y'all can't y'all might not see the glare. And then it says the justice, equality. Ooh. The hanging one, perception. The transformation, transition. So I think this is the death card. It's called the transformation in here. We have the temperance, moderation. So I kind of like how it gives like a little single word, you know, if this, if you, um, if you want to be like, if you're new to tarot, it'll give you like a little word at the bottom so you won't forget the heart and it says deficiency or dependency, the heart dependency. I don't know which one this is. I would have to go look. I don't know what the heart is in the tarot. Let me see. We have death, tower, temperance, strength, magician, emperor, how I think the world, hangman, empress. 
star. We've seen that one already. Justice. We've just seen that one too. The devil, the sun. The hammer. Try judgment. The lovers. Maybe it's the lovers, God. But we've seen the lovers and it's an ultimatum. So I don't know what the hell this is. This must be like an extra card that they just threw in there because I don't know what this one would be. Um, the habits, dependency. So I don't know if this will be considered um, the devil card as well. Oh, maybe it's a devil card. Okay. The habit, dependency. Then it says the decadence, arbitration. So I think the decadence is. Um, Judgment. Hold on. Let me see. No, it's not judgment. I don't know what that one is either. But it says the decadence, arbitration, number 16. Here we have the star, which symbolizes hope. I love the star card. It's my other favorite card. My other favorite major arcana card. So any decks that I look in. Um, I always look at the Wheel of Fortune, and I always look at the Star Cards. Um, those are like my two favorite um, Tarot Cards in the deck. Even though my birth Tarot Cards is the Death Card and the Emperor. So we have the Star and... Yeah, hope. It looks so cute, though. I like this one a lot. <laughs> um, the moon is concealment. And it says the sun clarity. The judgment opportunity. The world is completion. And then we have you are the one, authenticity. And then we have the paranormal creativity. So that's all that came with this. Let's see what the other ones are. So for the um the pinnacle suit, we got the ace of pinnacles, abundance. I like this one, it's kind of nice. The two of pinnacles, flexibility. And it'll be so easy. Like, I can't wait to use these in my readings. Three of pinnacles, mastership. Four of Pentacles, Greed. Five of Pentacles, Poverty. Yeah, this one definitely say poverty to me, you know. But she's still thugging it out, though. <laughs> That's what it looked like to me. <laughs> Six of Pentacles, Generosity. Seven of Pentacles. I can't see what that would say. The words are small. Eight of Pentacles practice. Nine of Pentacles reward. Ten of Pentacles Legacy. I like this one. Page of Pentacles Reliability. Ten of 
Knight of Pentacles. Sexy. What did you say? Oh, service to you. <laughs> Love it. I like this card too. Look pretty. Queen of Pentacles Ambition. And I like this one because it got like a, um, I think that's like a Virgo symbol or something. I don't know. Then the King of Pentacles, it says loyalty. Oh, wrong. Then the next one we got is the Ace of Cups, and it says fondness. Two of Cups, relationship. Ooh, what kind of person she in a relationship with? Look, you can't even see that motherfucker back there. It's so crazy. Three of Cups, celebration. Four cups. This just says emoji. I mean, somebody might be in their emotions or their feelings. Five of cups, regrets. Six of cups, memories. I like the imagery on that one too. Seven of cups, um, Direction, distraction, something. Eight of Cups, quiet. Nine of Cups, attraction. Oh, satisfaction. Sorry. I like Nine of Cups. The imagery is so nice. <laughs> Ten of Cups, Contentment. Page of Cups, Inner. Inventiveness or something. I don't know what that should say. <laughs> Knight of Cups. Um, what is it? I'm... Queen of Cups, Intuition. I like this one. And it got like a can this got the cancer symbol on it. Queen of Cups. I like this one actually, the energy of it. It's the King of Cups. I hear another little phrase like the Knight of Cups. I can't even see that. But it got the Scorpio symbol. Um, for the wands, we have Ace of Wands, Energy. Two of Wands, Indecision. Three of Wands, Patience. Four of Wands, Unity. Five of Wands, Rivalry. This one looks nothing like a damn rivalry picture. They could have did, I'm going to say what I got to say at the end, but they could have did more as far as like the meanings of the words. I mean, they gave you the meaning of it on the card, I guess. They give like one little meaning of what this card could potentially be, but they could have did more as far as like, I mean, I guess it do look kind of like a rivalry because we got like these two. Hold up one second. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Jesus. Okay. So it do kind of look like a rivalry here, but these two alligators or whatever these supposed to be, dinosaurs or something, 
they kind of like attacking each other right there. So I guess that's it. But I don't know. I feel like they could do a little bit more with some of these um the images on some of these cards. Um, six of Wands. We have victory. Seven of Wands. We have bravery. Eight of Wands. It says what man? Message. Oh, it's a message. I'm sorry. I gotta keep looking at stuff. Eight of Wands message. Nine of Wands stigmata. And I remember this movie too. When I opened up this deck and I looked at this and I seen that movie, um, and I seen this, like they got the picture of you know Jesus being crucified, and in this movie Stigmata, it was like this lady, she was like feeling all of the symptoms. It's like a really old movie. I watched it when I was a kid, but actually my mom had got it on VHS us, you know, when that was popping. But it was like this lady, she would get like attacked, like she was being crucified. But that's interesting for nine of wands to be considered as um stigmata though, you know. And so we have ten of wands hardship. And the page of wands is virtue. Knight of wands, what did she say? Desire. They can say like desire or something. I don't know. And then we have the queen of wands, determination. And this is an Aries. Um, Symbol. And so we have King of Wands leadership. I like the King of Wands. It's pretty nice. I like the imagery of it. I like the imagery of the Queen too. The Queen of Wands. And so we have. The Ace of Swords, Intellect. Two of Swords, Confusion. And this could be a card of Gemini because even though I think the Ace of Swords, I think the Two of Swords is Libra though. But they got like two people in here, maybe it's Gemini and Libra. Three of Swords, um, Disappointment, Four of Swords, Refuge, Five of Swords, Dual, oh, Defeat. <laughs> Six of Swords, Attachment. Seven of Swords, Treachery. This one looks nothing like a treacherous card. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, they could have dipped more with the imagery to make it look more like what they were saying on here. Like, they put treachery is the definition but they didn't put like anything like this person don't look treacherous to hear do they i mean unless that's poison ivy that she's sitting in then we have the eight of swords um what does one say imprisonment nine of swords anxiety Ten of Swords, I think it's a finality or something. I don't know. <laughs> I can't make out what this is going to say. 
Page of Swords, Inspection. Knights of Swords, Idealism. Queen of Swords. Fairness. Queen of Swords. Oh, King of Swords, Ionic. And this is supposed to be the Aquarius card, of course. They funny with that one. So this was the whole deck, y'all, on this beautiful creature's deck. So what I didn't like was that some of this imagery just didn't really go with, like, what they was portraying on the cards. Um, but the imagery was pretty, you know, for itself. Like, the Five of Pentacles. And this just says poverty. Like, this one was dead on point, you know, for the, the word that they placed on the card. And then, you know, this person, she looked like she out in poverty. Like, she in the wasteland, so fucking where, you know, thugging it out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so some of them did kind of look like it, and some of them didn't, you know. Um, but I have my own interpretations and meanings for the cards, but... It's just nice to see how these creators, the deck creators, how they, I don't even see who the person is that created, oh, it says J.R. somebody, Rose, Rose I don't know. They names and stuff is like right here at the bottom. I can't even pronounce half that shit, we'll see it, but um, it's just nice to see how other people interpret it, you know, the cards and what imagery they put on it to depict, you know, certain cards. Like, I've been wanting this deck for a while, and I was just contemplating on whether or not I should get it or not. Like, this is the Ace of Pentacles Abundance, but this person don't look like she abundant. Like, she don't even look like she happy. Like, she's sad as fuck. <laughs> like, why can I be happy if you're so abundant, you know? Um... But that was one of the things I didn't like. But other than that, like, the deck is pretty a cool deck. Um, I like the deck. I like a lot of the imagery of the deck. I like some of the extra cards that they put in the deck. Like, you are the one and things like that. Um, that adds some different spice or something to the reading. And the Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah. So this was the um, the beautiful creature deck. This is what I liked, and what I didn't like. This is my review of the deck. So I mean, it's pretty easy if you're a beginner and you want to get a deck for tarot. But truthfully, I do just recommend like for beginners to use like the regular Rider right Week deck, like the original one. Um, even though they don't have like the meanings on here, you could get more depictions of what the card may mean just by looking at this imagery here. Whereas, if you just look at this imagery, where it says the Three of Pentacles, and then there's the word they give under here is mastership, but you wouldn't think that these people was mastering anything. You know, you'll be looking like, what is these people doing in this picture? It's the Three of Pentacles. Like, each person is holding the pentacles, so what is he supposed to do? Put that pentacle together to what? Make one big, tall pentacle or something like that? Like, you would be looking like, what, what is, you know, I don't know. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But... I mean, as far as like, they have like little meanings on that at the bottom that can help out, but that's not with the just one meaning. The cards don't just mean just one thing, especially um, when it's paired with other cards or even on its own. They don't really mean just that, you know, because with the regular Rider Waite deck, which I got in my hand, I can pick up the Sun card and just be like, I can see a bunch of different meanings. I can see that somebody's like, future is bright. I can see that it may be hot as a motherfucker. You know, I can see that somebody might be having fun outside with that kid. You know, or the baby is having fun. Um, or the baby is learning how to walk for the first time, even though they're on this little horse. You know, there's a lot of things that you could pick up, you know, off of here. Um, that people was happy. Somebody is real happy and delightful here, you know. Whereas you can't pick all that up on that other one. So, yeah. I mean, but it's still a good deck, though. I mean, you guys want to get it. You know, I would say 
I would recommend for people to get it, you know, and try to, to see what other interpretations of things they can pick up just by looking at the imagery. And I'm just kind of excited to, like, really play with it and everything like that. Look, this one keep on coming. I just thought it was my favorite card in this deck, actually, besides the star card. I didn't really like the Wheel of Fortune in this deck, but I did love the star card. It was cool. Um, and then we have the Five of Pentacles. I'm liking this one. The imagery for this card. Um... So yeah, I would recommend, I mean, I, I would recommend for people to use the card, these cards only if they're familiar with the tarot. Like if you're not really familiar with the tarot, but you want to get alternate meanings, like I would use this card alongside with the Rider Week deck, you know, just so you can pull more, so you pull more definitions and stuff from the card because they only give you like one and then... Sometimes that definition and looking at the imagery of this card just don't even make sense. But I think the illustration is really nice. Um, I like the illustrations. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to get it because of the girly illustrations that they had on here. Um, and I just wanted a girly deck, you know, to see what that was about. So, yeah. But I was kind of like thinking like, I don't know if I should get it or not or whatever. But I finally just got the damn deck. And I don't... I'm not really disappointed, so I feel like I can make this deck work in um, some of my readings. So this was the review of the Beautiful Creatures deck. And um, yeah, if I had to rate this deck, like a, I guess like a 1 to 10, I would give it like, um, I mean, for imagery, I would give it a 10. Only because the imagery is nice. No, actually, for imagery, I would give it like a 9. Um, for the definitions, I would give it like a... Um, a nine um but for overall the whole deck in total i would give it like a seven or eight you know because of things i mentioned i didn't really like about it but that was you know that's to the artist or the creators um you know choice or whatever but yeah so this is the uh the review hopefully you guys liked it and enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in my next video